guys, it's Nick the Booksmith. Welcome back, welcome back. Thought I'd work on the lap book a little bit today. Last time we created this inner section that I mentioned will go at the back of the book. And we left one section for some papers to be bound into um, the spine area. So that's what I thought I would start with. These are the papers that I put together. I don't know if it was the first or the second. I don't remember which video it was. On this piece of scrap paper that is approximately the same height as uh, what that spine is, I marked the middle point and then I marked a half an inch from the top and then I marked a half an inch from the bottom. And then I found the center between those points so that there's five in all. And just to make things a little simply, simpler, simply, I'm going to punch a hole in each of those spots. And then I'll place this in the center. There we go. Just put a couple of paper clips just to keep everything situated. And I'm going to take this all and go ahead and poke these sewing holes through the whole signature. And I will place this in here. And I will mark on that spine in the back where it's touching, I'll mark all those holes. I can see that they're right here. <laughs> it's hard to see them from where you are, so I will make them darker. need that anymore. And I have a needle with some thread on it. This just happens to be a couple of strands of embroidery floss. You can start in the center of the signature or you can start on the back side of the spine. I'm going to start here. I'm going to clip the thread so it doesn't go all the way through. All right. So now I go up to the next hole and then into the signature. And then out through the top and the top hole in spine and then back in that second hole like that and back out through the middle and then into the next hole down which is the fourth one out through the bottom and then in back up through that second one up again like that oh look I have a thread <laughs> looks like it's going to be just barely <laughs> and then I'm going to tie these off I need somebody's finger all right now that those pages are now bound into this second section. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, go me, bears are chasing me. One is red, one is blue, one is yellow, pink and shoe. Now I'm on an even fast up because the little one has a knife. Now I'm on an full my life because the little one has a blaster. Now I'm on an really slowly because I have a one more. I want to really show it because it's the end of the show. Let's go. So I scored another line approximately, oh, three quarters of an inch away from this fold. 
and I thought I would fit this around like the whole kit and caboodle. Does that make sense? And what I will end up doing is I will glue the back of this spine onto these three spines that we put together. I don't know if it make, makes much sense yet, but we'll make it make sense. How's that? And then this, um, this back flap here, I can turn into something. I'll turn it into something. All right, where's my glue? Yoohoo stick is not gonna work for that. So I shall use the real deal, just some PVA. Was a little exuberant with the glue. What else is new, right? And there's a little bit of extra room in the spine, meaning this green thing that I just wrapped around the back, its spine is a little wider than uh, the pieces that we just made. I'll show you in a minute. I'm gonna let that dry for just a few minutes because if I start mucking around with it, it will let loose for sure. I'm going to cut some of this off. Put a little glue on the back here. Oh, yes, this will work. I just want to line the inside of this. There we go. I have a library envelope. And on the back, it's just regular white paper because it's just from one of my kids, so. It's not like it's a, it's not a real one. Well, I mean, it's real, but it's not old. So what I figured I would do, I'm gonna back it with some paper. I'm just gonna draw around the edge of this, just real quick like. And this will serve two purposes. One will be to cover up that white background and the other thing will be to serve as a hinge so it can flip out man I think I will use this just because it's well it's easy let's just be honest Nope, wrong one. <laughs> Be careful not to go past the where it's going to fold. Okay, Let's see how that didn't want to get too close to the edge. So I'm just gonna run just the tiniest bit of glue. Now I can kind of decide where I wanna put it. I can either fold it onto the back side, which I probably will. So then that way it will flip back in this direction. Sound good? Look at that. <laughs> just gonna use some tape. the back off. There we go. And I will locate a card to put in that. I'm not real keen on the pattern on this, 
but I do rather like the tab kind of poking out here on the side. But this should work. I even have grid lines to line everything up. This is on the four and three eighths. I think this will look much better. Much, much better. And then, and then I will most likely just center this on here and I will, it'll get attached on the top and the bottom, but not across that part. Well, mostly because there's something there, but <laughs> because I want this to be open as well. So I will probably sew this and this and go ahead and just close this up. And I may leave this underneath here just as a secret little hiding spot, just to do it. These are my off cuts. And I may, I don't know, cut these apart. And for here, perhaps make pocket, but I need, what's this thing? You know, this thing. So if this, I just kind of want this to like maybe poke out a little bit and then this one I don't know if it's going to go on the top or the bottom. I may do it more like this way. And now, I just want to stick that together a little bit so that I can keep that placement. Some paper clips. And then something can be slipped in there or, you know, whatever. I just kind of like the looks of it hanging out kind of like a raggedy, like there's extra paper shoved in there when there's not, but you know what I mean. So what I'm going to do, so what I'm going to do, I should enunciate and try not to say too many words at once. Okay, so I'm going to put a stitch line along this edge and a stitch line along this edge, and that will attach this to this and it will be uh, underneath um, this little flip out pocket, so it won't matter. So I'll just sew both of those and then that will be taken care of. And then I might go ahead and sew along maybe the top and the bottom or just the bottom, haven't decided that yet. And then I will probably glue this or I may leave it open because I might do something on this side, and so I don't want to mess that up by gluing that closed if I don't need it closed. Does that make sense? So I'm going to go do that real quick, get these established on that page. This is sewn on, but I left it open underneath here just in case. It's also open on this side. It's kind of a pass through, as it were. And then this is also, you know, a place. And then this is where I sewed. I went ahead and did top and bottom and I haven't uh, taken care of this yet because I was like, you know, I love how these look. I like how it looks like there's papers hanging out. So I went to my paper stash and I got a few more of the papers um, 
these happen to be Tim Holtz papers. And I thought some of these have document looking pieces in them. And I thought I would use another piece of this on this back side. I like, really like this side. So I think I'm gonna cut off about, I don't know, a little less than three inches between 70 and 75 millimeters, somewhere in there. And if I need to trim it more, I can always scale that down a bit. I cut it so that just a little bit of the script would hang out over the edge, just a little bit. And I was gonna cut a thumb hole, but I don't think I will because I like the water damage on that edge, so I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. There we go. All right, so this will be attached. I might sew these together just down this edge. Maybe just do a straight stitch along here and along here. Again, I should have waited and I could have stitched them together. Not that it makes too much difference because the more stitches, I don't know, the better sometimes. It just makes it look more hodgepodge and thrown together. I don't have a problem with it. Trimmed off a couple more document pieces and I may attach those to this piece just so that it wouldn't be like one plain, you know. But what I might do is sew um, these two to this and perhaps sew down this edge as well before I attach it onto the page it's on at the moment. All right, I'm gonna go sew down this edge and then perhaps sew these to get, I'll be back. Sometimes you have to just work it out at the sewing machine and not think about it too much. And here it is all sewn on. I left this as one large pocket and then I sewed through here so that there was two. There's one here and then there's one here. And this one's still the same. I want to finish up lining this. I don't care if it's a little wrinkly. I'm just going to fold that over. And I have this piece of um, dictionary page that I backed with some craft card and then I coated it in the uh, the varnish, you know, the artist's varnish, the Liquitex, the matte varnish, or whatever brand you like. And I just chopped it in half. It had two pieces. And what I thought I would do, perhaps, is sew along this edge, and then sew along this edge and this edge, and then maybe down the center or a couple of them and make pockets. Yeah, I'm not gonna think about it too long. I'm just gonna do it. So there is this all sewn on. I went ahead and just did two pockets and I sewed along this edge as well. And then I guess the last thing for this insert section will be, I had some more papers just sitting here, some random little papers. And I thought perhaps I would do one more small signature so that there's some more writing space. In this signature, in the center, I have a craft paper envelope that I took apart and tea stained. So that goes in the middle middle. And then it'll get glued back together after it gets sewn in. And I'm just going to do it exactly like I did the other one which is the five holes. And I'll just go through this green part here. So I'm gonna poke those holes and just get that sewn in just like I did the signature in the section before.
Well, there we go. This one is now sewn in and the envelope is in the center. And I'll figure out what I want to do as far as a closure for that. But now we have two little signatures and I think that's all she wrote for this inside segment. And in the next video, I will go ahead and install this into the lap book and uh, we'll move along. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me and hanging out with me. I hope everybody is having a great day and I will see you all really, really soon in the next video. Bye guys.